chemotherapy is uh, defined as the use of cold for any therapeutic purpose and it has been used for centuries. All of us know that with the use of ice, either in the form of ice cubes or cold water or gel packs, frozen peas, frozen pieces of meat, it helps to reduce swelling and bruising. The one thing to stress about ice is Unfortunately, the temperature of ice cannot be controlled. It may start at zero degrees, but then it varies quite quickly uh, above that once you start using it. Now, helotherapy, a lot of people were asking what helotherapy is. Helotherapy is cold fluid uh, delivered at a controlled temperature to parts of the body subjected to trauma, either through injury or surgery. Um, at a temperature that is controlled by the helotherapy system and it is delivered to areas of the body by specifically designed cuffs or masks. It is really quite a simple unit. I think there is a demonstration set um, with the exhibitors upstairs. Uh, it is a small unit that's about a, square, uh, a one foot square. It's connected through tubings to the cuffs um, the machine is filled with distilled water, which is cooled. Um, it has two pots, so two patients or two cuffs can be connected to the machine at any one time. And the control is really one off and on button and then an arrow that adjusts the temperature. The temperature can be controlled constantly at anything from 10 to 30 degrees. And I'll come back to this in a minute because this is the crux, the keystone of why the helotherapy is a much more efficacious system than, than ice. An example of the variety of masks and cuffs that are available for the face and obviously for the body which is uh, largely used by the orthopedic surgeons. Physiology 101, trauma either through injury or surgery causes inflammation and one of the first thing that happens is of course vasodilation which causes bleeding, bruising, hematoma and then there's loss of endothelial integrity of the vessels which leads to extravasation of fluid into the extracellular space causing edema. There is then release of inflammatory uh, enzymes like bradykinin, serotonin, which causes pain. And how does cold um, act against this? Cold obviously immediate, immediately causes vasoconstriction, which limits the amount of uh, bruising and hopefully bleeding and hematoma. Uh, together with this, it reduces the amount of extravasation of fluid and hence reduces edema and the cold slows down cellular metabolism as well as cellular enzyme activity and so reduces pain. But what many of us don't realize is the vasoconstrictive effect of cold reaches a maximum at about 15 degrees. Below 15 degrees there's a paradox vasodilation and this is largely explained by uh, paralysis of the endothelial smooth muscles and possibly a nerve conduction block of the uh, nerve fibers that causes vasoconstriction and this explains why the helotherapy may be a much more effective therapy than ice itself because with ice and a temperature that's below 15 degrees the positive effects of cold obviously is negated. We collected the data for patients treated between May last year and May this year. Simultaneously we also did a retrospective questionnaire survey of the nurses who used the helotherapy machine. Uh, 243 patients were treated uh, we managed to get response from 224. This was largely through their follow-up in one week after surgery. 39% um, were blepharoplasties, 22% were face lifts or brow lifts, 21% rhinoplasty, and 18% were fractional CO2 full face laser. Results. Uh, when asked the question, uh, how much pain they experience, 
91% of the patients said they experienced little or no pain. I'll just quickly read to you a few uh, of the free comments made by the patients for laser uh, therapy with the use of halo, halotherm. Less bleeding, uh, improved recovery. Without the mask, it feels uncomfortable for the first hour after laser when the burning sensation is at its peak. The mask definitely helped with keeping the skin cooled and therefore the immediate swelling down to a minimum. Another patient, this was my second treatment. This was another advantage of using it on the laser treatments. They have a course of three treatments. This is a fractional laser. And obviously, there is a group of patients who did have laser therapy before the, 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 uh, the helotherapy used. So it was, it was good for them to be able to compare with and without. This was my second treatment. The product made such a difference to my comfort and a dramatic reduction in the swelling. Another patient, had a face lived over a year ago, did not have the mask for surgery. I feel I would have benefited from the mask for my surgery. She obviously came back for a, a skin resurfacing after having had facelift previously. Helped reduce swelling and cooled my skin down. I would like to have the helotherapy mask after any further laser treatment, if given the choice. Comfortable and soothing, feels nice, etc., etc. Uh, when asked the question, uh, how much swelling they experienced with the HELO therapy, 87% said little to none. Uh, when asked the question, how much they felt the HELO therapy helped in their healing, and, and this is such an important thing, the patient perception that by putting the cold mask on, they were healing better and they were getting better results. 98% uh, said the mask was comfortable, very important. You've heard from earlier speakers about the possible side effects of eyes in terms of frostbite and chill beans. Well, there were no complications from the helotherapy. Very surprisingly, and the manufacturers would love this, 95% felt that they would have liked to have continued the helotherapy at home. The manufacturers have just come up with a home kit I don't know much about <coughs> this, but I'm sure they have a demonstration kit upstairs. And 98% of the patients would recommend it to another friend. We handed out the questionnaire to 65 nurses because there were three hospitals involved. And uh, amazingly, 62 responded. In fact, they were falling over themselves to fill the survey because they, they thought that the results of the survey would determine whether we were going to take the helotherapy machine away <coughs> or they had to go back to the old-fashioned method of uh, cold compress. And not unexpectedly in the results, 94% of the nurses felt that the machine was easy to use. I'll cover the few um, problems they had in a separate slide. 86% felt that the pain experienced by the patient was less with this compared to the traditional cold compress. 86% felt that there was less swelling with this than the traditional method. 96% felt that the patients were more comfortable with this than the previous method. 96% would recommend this to other clinics and hospitals. And you and I know how important recommendations by the nurses in the hospitals are for our practice. Uh, again, very important, no complication really. So in conclusion, there is good peer-reviewed evidence that helotherapy is effective in reducing pain and swelling. Uh, it is definitely safe, safer than ice. Patient satisfaction is extremely high in terms of comfort and the subjective feeling that it is helping them heal better. Demand on nursing care is definitely less. So, if it is good enough for Jessica Elba and Gaga, I think it's cool too. Thank you. <laughs>